Welcome to Texas Wrenching. Today I'm going to unbox, set up, and review the Harbor Freight 125 flux welder made by Titanium. So for my welding setup I have two boxes. So this box will go on top of this one and the welder would sit on top of this box which is on there. So I'm going to show you what's in the boxes now. In the smaller one I have a pair of non-welding gloves but they'll work fine. I have a more heavy duty clamp because this welder doesn't come with the best clamp so when it burns up I have another one. I have the extra parts to the uh, face mask, welding gloves, a wire brush for the angle grinder, and a box I made. This box has all my welding consumables. I have the nozzles, extra nozzles, and I have contact tips for both 030 and 035 wire. I have an extra spool of 035 wire and welding magnets. In this box, I have two welding helmets, a slag hammer, welding pliers, a file, and three welding brushes. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this welder. I bought this welder for $214.99. It runs on a 120 outlet. It is an inverter uh, welder. It is The amperage range is 30 amps to 125 amps. The duty cycle is 30% at 90 amps. Duty cycle is, if it's 30%, for every three minutes that you're welding, you have to let it cool for seven. It is an open circuit at 21.6 volts. It has a wire feed speed of 60 to 100 inches per minute. It handles 030 and 035 wire. Welds 18 gauge to 3 16 I've seen many videos of doubling that and it, it, the welds were just fine. Uh, the wire spool capacity is 4 inches or 2 pound spools of wire and it only weighs 15 pounds. Okay, enough talking, let's open the welder. So on top it comes with a little book right here and it also has some tips of how to weld. It also comes with, let's see what this is, an O3L tip and some extra nozzles. Styrofoam and then we have the actual welder. Like I said it was a little bit of a cheap ground clamp so I bought another one. So here's the actual gun right here. It has a contact tip and a nozzle already on it. Let's take this wrapping off. So here's the welder. You have the setting from A, uh, to, from A to J on your amperage, and then you have your wire speed right here. Uh, the gun, I think it's, eh, it seems about, I don't know, six and a half, seven feet. Not bad. Let's see. The ground clamp, if I can get it off. It has, let's see here. Probably about the same, about six and a half, seven feet. Now the power cord. And it's nice because the power cord's in the back. That's about a good eight feet or so. Alrighty, let's open up the hood. Okay, it comes with a back backpack strap, so that's pretty nice. Um, a lot of the videos I watched, they came with a little one pound spool of wire. This one doesn't. Um, I'm glad I bought some extra. So I'm going to load my 035 wire onto here. Like this. So I'm going to unscrew that. 
that. Pull this off. And then I'm gonna put my 035 wire on. Without letting the wire get off out, out of hand. Screw this back on. Okay, so now that's on. So now that we have our wire and we can open open this up right here, swing that out. And then we're also gonna check that this little thing is set on 035, and that is. And then we can take our wire, but there's a small bin, so I need to cut it. We can feed it through. So this welder right here also has a cold wire feed button like that, where you don't even have to pull the gun and you can just flip it and it'll feed wire. But first, before we do that, we take off our nozzle and then take off our contact tip. And then we just need to plug it in and hit the cold wire feed button. So now that we have the welder plugged in to the truck, we can just hit the cold wire feed button. Oh, the welder has to be on to do that. Now we can turn the welder off again and turn the truck off. So now we have our wire up to the gun. We need to take our contact tip, put that on, just like this. You don't want to get too tight, but you also want to take a pair of pliers and just Snug it down just a little bit. Just like that. Then you can go back and put your nozzle on. And then it's really nice on this welder, you have a chart of what uh, what size you want to weld and if you put it in which setting you should put it on for amperage and wire speed. So now we can close our welder up cut the extra uh, uh, wire off. If you want to weld, because this flux core, you can be a little farther for your stick out. It'll be anywhere from a quarter inch to three quarters of an inch. I usually like to run about half inch. So now we're ready to weld. So right now I'm just gonna take a minute to talk about the proper personal protection gear. First, you're gonna need a good welding jacket. A welding jacket is very useful because you don't wanna get all the sparks and the slag and the spatter all over you and it's very hot and it can burn you pretty bad. Next, you're gonna need a good pair of jeans that are flame resistant. Most jeans are flame resistant. Same reasons, spatter and slag. Next, you're gonna need a good welding helmet. You don't wanna burn your eyes. It's not good for your eyes and it can protect your face from slag and spatter. You're also gonna need a good pair of steel toe or comp toe boots because in a sh uh, shop where you're welding, you're gonna have lots of metal. Some metal is probably gonna be really heavy. You don't wanna drop that on your toe and break your toe. You're also gonna need a good pair of welding gloves because you do not wanna burn your hands. I will put links to all of my gear and equipment in the description below. I didn't get very many up close shots about welding because I didn't wanna get a lot of spatter and slag on my phone. This welder is mainly built for beginners. I myself am not a beginner, I am more of an amateur because I've welded a lot on other people's machines, but this is my first welder. I just needed this welder for some small jobs around the ranch, so I decided I'd give this Titanium 125 a shot. For what I paid for this welder, this welder runs consistently and smooth. I will put links to all of my gear and equipment in the description below. Please like, subscribe, and leave a comment. Thanks for watching.